Sign in and visit the projects page and click to create a new book. The KDP Wizard dashboard will appear at the top of the page and will be empty if you don't have an active book selected in the pop-up app. Open this up and select the book you want to add to Barnes & Noble and see it loaded into the dashboard. First we start with book type, which is either paperback or ebook. Paperback is configured by default in the KDP Wizard settings, so hit Alt plus N or Option plus N on Mac to populate this option and Alt plus M or Option plus M on Mac to go to the next page. I'll use the PC shortcuts from now on, just substitute Option if you're on Mac. You may change these if you prefer, but be careful not to pick something already in use by Chrome. Enter the book title from the active book into this field by hitting Alt plus N then Alt plus M to go to the next page. Just keep an eye on the character counter in case you've exceeded the 120 limit. It's also worth noting that having multiple books with the same title is not allowed unless they are linked in your projects page. If you already have a book with the same title, you'll have to decide how to proceed. The option to sell your book is pre-configured in the settings. Using the keyboard shortcuts, populate and save to move to the next page or click if you prefer. The pre-order option is set to no, it's not in the options. Use the shortcuts or click to populate and save. These options all need clicking through in order, as some options affect others later on. KDP Wizard will use whatever information it has about your active book and fill in as much as it can. If something is missing, it will stop at that point so you can manually complete the missing info. Click Save. Alt-N to skip to upload your file. Then if the active book has an interior file connected in the base, then download and copy URL buttons will become available in the Barnes & Noble dashboard. PC users can copy the URL for the file and simply paste that into the file name field in the dialog box. Mac users just click to download the file and then simply drag and drop it onto the Select from My Computer button. Once the interior has been loaded, you have to manually tick the approval box to confirm you are happy with how it looks then Alt-M to save. The type of cover file to upload is defined in the KDP Wizard options and set to upload full cover file by default. So Alt-N, Alt-M will proceed to the next page. Then you can hit Alt-N again to skip to the cover upload page. Remember, all of these keyboard shortcuts can be clicked if you prefer. As with interior files, if you have a cover file uploaded to your base and the record linked to the active book, it will be available in the dashboard to either download for Mac users to drag and drop onto the page, or to copy the URL for PC users to paste into the file open dialog box. When processing is complete, tick to approve and hit M to save. Now we're ready to enter details for the book. Press Alt N or click the populate button to populate the page. The publisher name will be empty unless you have added something in the settings for this. Please note though, if you are using an auto-assigned ISBN from Barnes & Noble, what you enter here will be overwritten with Barnes & Noble Press later on. Save and continue. The Authors and Contributors page will populate the author first, and then any contributors underneath. There aren't as many contributor roles here so some assumptions are made. Double check these are correct before hitting save. Categories and audiences does some guessing depending on which categories you've used for KDP. Click search categories to open up the search. KDP Wizard adds a drop down if it finds any categories for the active book. This enables you to quickly search for those words in the category search. Now, depending on the audiences and fiction settings, the available options change to reflect your choices. Select at least one category, check your keywords, which are the first 100 characters from your active book to the nearest full word, and save to continue. Alt N to populate the price from the primary marketplace and save. The public domain choice is matched to the KDP setting if available. The second option has to be controlled manually. Alt M to save. You can add an editorial review here if you have any and save to continue. The ISBN choice is manual here too. Click no if you want one assigned and click create free ISBN to get one. Then click save. This is the final confirmation screen and everything on here is manual, so check everything through and submit when you're happy. Good luck!